Hey guys, it's Jan, not a real farm. So I'm in the greenhouse this morning and just wanted to show you the progress of the peppers. So last year we saved seed from our poblano peppers and already you can see here we've got buds. So they're already starting to, it looks like probably in the next week or so, they'll probably open up their flowers and we've got them all over. anybody likes a nice hot salsa these are the pepper but beautiful nice colored plants and so far not any diseases and I'm not seeing any yellowing of the leaves so this is good so since we're going through the pepper patch this morning it's probably a good idea for me to show you exactly sort of what I do when I want to get higher yields for my pepper plants uh, a lot of the times what we do is we'll just throw the pepper plants in the garden and we say hey whatever we get from them is what we get but what you can do for higher yields on your pepper plants is once they begin to start giving you, you know, your buds or your blossoms, is if you take a look down the stem itself, you want to get rid of any additional extra leaves. So these are my sweet peppers. These are orange suns. What I want to do is I want to get rid of the two leaves, maybe even four leaves at the bottom. And you want to get rid of any suckers that are happening in on the plant stem. So this is kind of a good example. So here we've got a blossom that's really starting to develop. And what you wanna do is if you wanna get a higher yield from your pepper plant, you wanna pinch out, it won't matter if there's a blossom there, you wanna pinch out the additional extra leaves on the pepper plant. Because in the end, what'll happen is you'll get a healthier, happier plant. You wanna take the bottoms off too. A healthier, happier plant. And because it's not putting in all the additional energy into having all the additional leaves and blossoms on the bottom, it will keep it cleaner. It will also allow the energy for the plant now to put into the top of the blossoms that it actually has. This one's starting to do the same thing. So you'll see, and you'll probably be saying to yourself, oh my gosh, there's, you know, there's a little flower there because that means that it's going to give me a piece of fruit. But what happens is it, that piece of fruit will actually be smaller because the plant is putting out too much energy into too many different blossoms. So you want to trim away the bottom and any additional suckers or any kind of blossoms at the bottom so that it can focus and give you more fruit at the top. And like I said, what will happen here is because you're trimming the bottom, you don't have leaves that are actually hitting the dirt, which means you'll have less disease in your plant. If we sneak back to the poblanos here, hot peppers are notorious for giving extra leaves. Take a look down, just down the stem here. So I've got extra leaves here, I've got extra leaves down here. So one of the things that I need to do is I need to prune those extra leaves off. Like I said, you won't get the leaves that are hitting the dirt. So eventually these bottom leaves here will drag on the dirt, which gives the disease into the plants or introduces the disease into the plants. So we wanna take those additional leaves off the bottom because they'll sucker, they'll make the plant bigger, and you'll get a nice, big, beautiful pepper plant, but you won't necessarily get really great fruit from it. So you wanna clean up the stem to the point where you're gonna have a clean stem from the bottom almost to the middle. I'm even gonna take this one off because it's too low. And now what we have is a clean stem. And now it's going to focus all its energy on the top blossoms. And once those begin to bloom, you're going to see that it's going to actually give you more fruit and your plant will last longer than if we just leave them be. So that's just a little tip of the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please pop them below. See you soon.